Peace, power, and protection. Welcome to First Side Visions. My name is Q, and I am here to do your general reading, beloveds. Welcome to any of you that may be new. My name is Q. I channel messages intuitively. I am an empath, and I'm also clear audience. So during this reading, you will hear me playing music. During all of my readings, you actually will hear me playing music and the way that it works, the name of the song, lyrics within the song, name of the artist, maybe even the timestamp, it will all correlate to what I may be channeling intuitively, as well as what the cards may be showing. And it all blends very beautifully, if I do say so myself. My spiel here is eat the fish, spit out the bones. If the reading doesn't apply, let it fly by. Know that you're more than just your sun sign. So check your other placements and get a more clear, concise message for you, beloveds. My readings are also timeless. So whenever this video has found you or whenever you felt compelled to click play, that was divine timing and in divine order that you have done so. To my beloveds returning, you already know what it is. Love is love is love. I will each and every one of you beautiful souls are feeling amazing. I will all is blissed in your world that you're feeling grounded, balanced, and in alignment. Everything is everything on my side of the planet. So I want to share with you all. I found um, during one of my nature walks uh, this week, I found uh, two feathers, um, two beautiful flat feathers. One was black uh, with some white in it or it could have been white with some black whatever and then i found another little fluffy uh white feather and the following day my son went outside and he found a feather so um some of you all could be finding feathers uh whether that's outside you could be taking a walk a jog riding a bike and you look to the side and see like a feather just laying there um maybe even in your home you may go in your bedroom and see a feather on your pillow or see a feather in your closet on the ground on the floor um that is a sign that your angels are leaving for you those are some divine downloads that your angels are with you uh they're letting you know you're protected beloveds they're letting you know that your prayers your prayers have been heard and they will be answered and all they need from you is to remain positive remain optimistic walk in faith not by sight if things appear to be a certain way uh what you feed that energy if you're feeding yourself more fear more doubt uh questioning things opposed to just being more optimistic and open-minded uh what you think of mostly is what you create so the mind acts as a projector and how you see or perceive your life your world your experiences people around you situations is what you will create. So if things may appear to be a little laggy, a little, uh, you know, delayed, um, maybe they appear like they're not working out in your favor or like something is not going to change. It is all an illusion. It's optical illusions. Uh, keep your eyes on the prize, stay diligent, stay focused, and you shall achieve your goals, obtain whatever those wish fulfillments are and receive those answer to your prayers. So it's really about, you know, staying uh, positive, uh, also, you know, operating from a very grounded place. Like if you're too much in your head, uh, you could get kind of stuck in la la land. So it's really about grounding yourself in that moment um, and speaking more positively to yourself when you feel that you are drifting into a place of, you know, uh, lack mentality or uh, having like that, that poverty type of mindset, um, that woe is me or that self loathing. It's like, you know, trick yourself into thinking positively about your circumstance opposed to just looking at how things appear. Because just like it says, on your car, that mirror, uh, objects are closer than they appear. I feel like your blessings, your wish fulfillment, and the answers to your prayers uh, are closer than you appear. If you're finding those angels, that is a sign, that is a synchronicity, that is a message from your beloved angels that they are with you and that they are not only with you, but they're encouraging you to keep going, to keep growing, and to not get sidetracked or distracted. Um, off your path. So stay the course, beloveds. 
Um, so I wanted to share that. I felt compelled to share that with you. It is 444 on the clock right now. So that is very much confirmation uh, that many of you that could be really struggling, just call on your angels, Archangel Mikael, call on the Orishas, Mama Yemenya, call on that Mama Oshun energy, uh, Baba Ogun, if you're dealing with, you know, certain issues with work, uh, or maybe even if you're dealing with certain um, family issues, you call on those Arishas, call on those angels uh, to receive, to receive that protection or to receive, you know, that guidance, that spiritual guidance that you are seeking to make uh, the best decisions for yourselves. Ashe. So without further ado, we're going to proceed with the read. Uh, before we go any further, that's just what I'm picking up intuitively. We're going to go ahead and pay homage to the ancestors by doing some house cleaning. Ashe. So let's go ahead and do that. I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards, help me to pick up on the energy, number synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards, and so it is. So mote it be. Ashe, 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 yo. So it is currently 408 on the Klizak, and that breaks down to what? 12. So 12 breaks down to 3. 12 is, uh, you know, that deals with the hangman. So there could be really like you know, this, this position of kind of assessing things, maybe you're looking at, uh, you know, some sort of plan from a different angle, like you're trying to approach something in the best way. So you're looking at things from a different vantage point. You're kind of like, you know, analyzing something here because there's a decision that you're looking to make and you want to make sure you're making the best decision. So it's like you're analyzing something. Uh, perhaps spirit has put someone in a sacrificial position to see things from a different perspective. And now that they've assessed things uh, from all angles, it's like now they can make the best decision for themselves or take the best action because now they'll strategize their actions, their course of actions before just acting. Uh, so this is really about planning, preparing, strategizing, ready, set, go type of energy. Um, I'm seeing the three of pentacles. You could be mastering your craft right now, working very diligently and very, you know, very like, um, I, I just get this, this uh, burst of inspiration, like a very inspired effort uh, towards accomplishing your goals or, or towards something that you're very passionate about. Um, this could be a hobby that you have, you know, been recently, you know, reintroduced to uh, something that you've always loved to do, but maybe a couple of years you took a break and now you're re-approaching uh, that same hobby because you have all these new grand ideas and that continue, you know, you continuing in that creative energy, in that flow, uh, you will revolutionize something uh, that will provide like a return uh, on your investment. Like there's something very special about whatever you do, whatever your gift is. And if you continue to hone it, uh, it will guarantee, there's guarantee success, there's guarantee abundance or prosperity uh, that will follow. So stay the course, stay focused. Um, I feel like that's literally what you're doing. Uh, we have Running Away, um, and this is by Roy Ayers. So uh, running away. So someone could have absolutely been, uh, you know, maybe someone is trying to leave a situation because with running away, it's, it's like you're trying, that's like escapism. That's not really, you know, uh, handling things maturely or, you know, uh, amicably if you're running away from a situation. It's very, you know, kind of juvenile to try to run from something. So this is really about shadow work, I feel also like, um, 
you know, maybe there's some shadow work, some some dark night of the soul work that was going on. Maybe the three is also associated with the three of swords where there could have been a lot of heartache and pain and loss. Someone could have ran away from their responsibilities. So maybe some of you feminines, because the three is associated with the empress. If you are a feminine, maybe you had like a situation where someone ran away from their responsibilities, um, you know, from their children or ran away, ran away from their responsibilities as a husband uh, because a, an empress is a wife, you know, she is a maternal figure. So that shows that there was some sort of uh, domestic situation or circumstance and it led to heartache or loss or pain. And that's why there's this moment perhaps of reflection, of assessing, this is a sacrificial position to see things perhaps after the fact or uh, to gain awareness, looking at things from a different vantage point or a different perspective. This also could just be speaking to, you know, maybe you are in an energy of, you know, being an entrepreneur, starting up a business, and you're kind of like foolproofing your plan and, and um, you know, having a, um, different ideas that you could be juggling around. And uh, so you're assessing things from different perspectives. And that does lead to success and stability because the Empress is very powerful, very abundant. Uh, and she's a master manifester. Even if you're a masculine, you are very successful. You are very action oriented, very determined, uh, very ambitious type of energy, a leader, a boss, someone that others uh, gain, you know, inspiration from and look to, to learn from. So you could be in a position where you are like the matriarch or patriarch of your family. Um, even if you're the head of household, if there is no partner in the picture, if you are single, um, I do get a sense of like you now taking on that role and planning out your, um, planning things out in a very strategic way so as not to uh, you know, run into any interruptions or interferences in the future. So this is really a very uh, focused and determined energy. Uh, very, very, um, very attractive because it's like you work with intentional, uh, you, you work very intentionally. And so you, you, you attract others that also want to put in that same type of work ethic, that same type of, of work into uh, the connection or building a, an alliance or a partnership. So you will attract other like minds because your, your, your determination, as I said, can be inspirational and people will align with you that are on that same frequency. Uh, whereas others that cannot keep up the pace will fall, you know, they'll fall to the wayside. So let's tap in and see what the cards have to say. That's just what I'm picking up intuitively, beloveds. And I just saw one, two, three, four, which reduces to 10. So what we have here is 13. It says effort. So 13 is related to the death card. The death card does represent scorpionic energy. And so this is showing that you have made the efforts, you know, the effort to change, to transform, to go through that startling and that metamorphosis, you know, to evolve someone, emerge someone completely different, someone solid. This four reduces, uh, this 13 reduces to four. That four is really about your stability and your security, but it also represents the heart shock where learning to heal thyself, you know, learning to love thyself. This is also speaking to perhaps like a divine masculine or a father figure. This person could have like a history in military, law enforcement, or maybe even security. This is someone that could have, you know, not made as much effort. If you think of the emperor, as I said, the emperor is very action oriented. And with this energy, the effort, perhaps there was, there was uh, this, this um, not much effort, you know, put into something which led to the demise because 13 is the death card. So like someone's lack of effort, someone not matching someone's energy led to the demise of this connection, but this demise has led to someone loving themselves or in, you know, implementing self-love or discovering love was an inside job. This is about soul searching, healing at a soul level, because that one deals with the root chakra, you know, the one in the 13 that deals with the root chakra. And so when you're in the root chakra, this is about learning, um, you know, what stability, what family uh, looks like for you. And so this is, you know, healing at a soul level. This is also, you know, healing from childhood traumas, familial traumas. 
And that three is the solar plexus. So that's the sun that shines within. That's also about, you know, trusting your inner gumption, your inner wisdom, and also taking action, affecting change. So this is right, like, you know, aligning, uh, you know, with your, your, your higher self, if you will, like realizing your value, realizing your strength, realizing you know, your power and owning it, leaning on it, braving your light, being bold. And this is like, you know, that 13 is about, you know, uh, rejuvenating something that was, you know, kind of, um, you know, that was inexistent, you know, non-existent. It's like you, you're, you're, you're sparking, uh, you're, you're giving a spark of life to something that was dead. It's like this, this 13 is like that, you know, the, the Phoenix that rises from the ashes, you know, so this is really, you know, a rebirth, you know, this is like, you know, going through some sort of rebirth, some sort of major transformation. And it was the love of self, which, you know, inspired this change. And this death has really affected everything. Like, you know, your the way you see things, the way you, the way you show up in the world, it's like, now you are more assertive or you are more, uh, mindful to do things that feel right, sit right in your spirit. So that's powerful. Let's see what we have on the split. And uh, we have Whitney Houston, I'm Every Woman. So it's like knowing your worth and value. We have new beginning here along with the effort. So that's what you're doing now. You're emerging someone different because you have this new inspiration with I'm Every Woman. You're also attractive because it's like you're seen as very, you know, uh, grounding, very maternal, very domestic, very loving. It's like, you know, your worth and value. You've matured to some degree because this 13 and this one reduces to five. So this was like a, a growing pain. This was something that you have learned, you know, about yourself, but this is also showing that there was, uh, some level of like, you sought wise counsel. You've done, um, you've diligently, uh, you know, went to, seek out the truth or discover the truth. You've also discovered like perhaps what your life purpose, your passion, your mission is. This is also about communicating your truth, expressing your truth, being honest with yourself, being honest with others, standing up for what you believe in. You're coming out of a dark period. This is like the death and this is the new beginning because, you know, every ending denotes a new beginning. So it's like you're on the precipice of some sort of fresh start. And it's because you realize that you are, you know, you are a divine feminine or a divine masculine with I'm, I'm every wo woman. Someone could be from Jersey. Someone's name could be Whitney or Houston, first, middle or last. Someone could also be from Houston, Texas. But this is like when you are every woman, it's like you you are embodying, you know, that divine feminine energy. You are embodying like that matriarchal energy with I'm every woman. It's like you you know how to uh, channel your inner goddess. You know, you, you know how to, again, utilize that divine feminine energy to co-create with source, to manifest your desired outcome. Because that's exactly what the empress and the emperor does. They are co-creators with source. The bottom of the deck, we have the 63. This is parenting. So some of you all, you could be mothers, you could be fathers. I feel like you're very protective of your children. I feel like with nine, some of you could be pregnant with child and about to give birth. You could be nine months pregnant. Maybe you have a nine month old, a nine week old, a nine uh, day old, or you may be uh, have a nine year old, but I feel nine, someone could have been born, um, on 11, on 10, 27, 11, nine, 11, six, 11, three. I feel like some of you may be dealing with like, um, you know, your children's mother or your children's father trying to figure out co-parenting, trying to deal with perhaps shared custody, perhaps child support. Like there could be, you know, some, some, some issues, some ongoing issues with the mother or father of your child. 
with this nine, I do feel there's a guardedness or there are walls like you've set up these defense mechanisms uh, doing part two, perhaps the the relationship in the past, like because I was picking up like heartache, loss, pain, but learning from that, growing from that. I feel like there's a long overdue conversation that's necessary because there's blue in the symbol here and there's a lot of yellow around it. And so that yellow is, you know, not only speaking to strength, not only does that deal with the solar plexus of like trusting your gumption, your gut instinct, but it also is telling you that there's like some sort of clarity or some ground, uh, or some some profound um, epiphany that someone may have pertaining uh, the mother or father of their child. Maybe you're dealing with your own mother and father. I get a strong sense of like someone you know, is, is very independent of the other. Like there's, there needs to be this, um, like there has to be this, this approach to, you know, I'm hearing the word compromise, but I'm also feeling like there needs to be, like you need to let others know when you need help. Cause I get a sense of like this, this guardedness it's like this closed offness that you don't ask for the help that you may require. Because that nine is giving me like, you know, the 63 is nine. It's giving me like the nine of wands, like a wounded warrior, someone who's had, who's, you know, been in a situation so many times. And now it's like nobody trusts no one. You know, that's that type of the that type of energy that I'm seeing. And I feel like it's like you don't trust what anyone says. It's like you rather see actions. You don't want to hear words. So you could be very guarded in that regard, like not just, you know, you don't ask for what you need. And I feel like there's a need to delegate. I feel like there's a need to like delegate responsibility when it comes to the mother or the father of your child. So as not to carry all of the responsibilities on your own shoulders. So there's a commun there's some sort of form of communication or some conversation. I definitely feel like there's def absolute like distance Maybe some of you all are in like you're learning, you know, from a relationship or a situation with a mother or father to your child is that hermit is like showing, you know, that I mean, 63 is giving me like hermit where you've like you're looking back in awareness. Maybe you're looking back at a former relationship, a former connection with someone and you're seeing perhaps uh, the red flags or you're seeing the areas where you could have um, made some mistakes or you could have done things a little differently. You know, but the nine is also the highest number of change. So there is something that will change. Um, and I feel it's for the better because this yellow is a very vibrant card. And yellow always makes me feel, you know, because it's the same color as the sun. It always makes me feel like there's something being revitalized or rejuvenated or, you know, there's some sort of illumination or clarity that is to come. What we have on the bottom of the deck is follow your dreams, 85. And that's the number 13. That's another death card. Maybe we saw 13 earlier with effort. And so whoever or whatever you're attracting to you, it says follow your dreams. So it's like you're you're attracting your dreams because when you change, when you literally go through that death, it's like your whole frequency and vibration changes because you emerge someone completely different. You have had a death of those old mindsets, ideologies, belief systems, habits, behaviors, even you've cut off people, places, and things. You have like transformed, you've purged, you've, you know, rejuvenated yourself, recharged your batteries. And now there's this new perspective, you know, now there's the sense of like, you know, owning your power. There's the sense of knowing your worth, knowing your value. You know, this parenting could also be showing that you're birthing a new style or a new way of thinking or birthing some new project. It's like something is in the, you know, it's like in the incubation state and you're just like, you're, you're, you're slowly but surely like honing that skill or that gift or that talent. With this 13, I feel like there's been this, this death of being afraid or being fearful. Um, and now there's the sense of being fearless. There's the sense of following what, you, you know, what's pulling at your heart, tugging at your heart. Because at 85 breaks down 13, that's four. So it's like there's a death of being afraid. There's a death of like, you know, holding back or feeling like there's missed opportunities because now it's like you are, uh, you're going after what you want. You're being more assertive. The four is also the, the emperor. So 
some of you masculines, like I said, like this is like showing that perhaps you are embarking on some brand new business idea and you're like just really just mastering that craft. This is like your baby. You're turning a thought into reality. That's literally what a divine feminine, divine masculine does. The empress and emperor, they know that their divinity is creation, is, you know, birthing something new. As I said, that's why this parenting could be here as well. Because this, this could literally be like, you know, in the beginning stages of something that you, you know, really, um, you, you, you started it out from a thought and now it's manifesting in this physical reality and it's going to produce abundance and success and stability and financial freedom. This could literally be also like birthing some new love ship. The four deals with the heart chakra as well. Someone that could potentially become the mother or father of your child. Some of you, um, yeah, for some of you. So let's tap in. So who or what is our beloved Scorpios attracting to them? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection, spirit. Who or what is my beloved Scorpios attracting to them? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. So who is this plane? So right now we have earth, wind, and fire. And this is called keep your head to the sky. So this is like someone who is very optimistic. They may pray, um, you know, pray about whatever this is, like whatever you're praying for. You know, whomever this is, or even if this is the energy surrounding you, it's almost like, you know, as above, so below. So whatever you've sent out into the ethers, into the heavens, in terms of like your petitions, your prayers, um, in terms of your daily mantras, chants, you know, speaking affirmations, confirmations, it's like, it's, it's going to manifest in this physical reality. It's like, look at that. We got 44 environment. It's closer than you can imagine. This is giving me like the eight, the, the, the star card. Eight always reminds me of the star. So it's like it's a petition you sent up, some sort of wish fulfillment. And with keep your head to the sky, that's about remaining hopeful, optimistic, expect. It's like you're expecting something and it's coming quicker than you can imagine. It's like swift action because I'm getting like the eight of wands. I'm even seeing, like I said, the star so it's like you've co-created this, why, whether by speaking it into the ethers or literally becoming that magi, that alchemist, where you co-created with source, but it's like it's in your environment. So whoever you're attracting, this could even be a sense of someone that you, um, it's like a, a, a spiritual union or a spiritual partnership. This is going to be someone very harmonious. Uh, the connection is going to be very, very strong chemistry, synergy. Because this double numbers always gives me uh, the sense that you're attracting someone that's on the same frequency and vibration, someone that's mirroring your energy. This four is, you know, associated with the heart chakra, as I said. So both of you, your heart chakras are open and you're ready to love. Perhaps this is just speaking to you, really working very diligent, attracting someone that is really willing to put in the work, put forth the effort, you know, to really cultivate and nurture and build that nucleus or that family with you with that eight. You know, because I get like the eight of pentacles with this. This is someone that does see you as worthy or see you as a wish fulfillment. Or maybe this is just like you are attracting um, a return on your investment because you're working very diligently, very hard towards a goal. So this eight of pentacles is like showing a harvest is showing like some form of like um, like a harvest. I'm seeing carnucopia. I'm seeing things flourishing. I also get a sense of like, even if this is in in terms of love, it's like whoever you're attracting is also like very sturdy, very independent. Both of you have learned um, to cut off like codependent issues, code, like to deal with your codependencies. So a lot, both of you could have like dealt with, um, you know, toxic connections, relationships, perspectives, even mindsets uh, where you've had to get rid of some of those codependency issues. And now through your independence, you've discovered that's the foundation for your happiness. And that's why you feel emotionally fulfilled because this like love is an inside job. So whenever you are, you know, expecting someone else to fill voids and validate you, you, you'll never feel fulfilled in a relationship because that is love has to be, has to come from within. You know, and when you radiate love, you attract love. So I feel like you're attracting what you are now. This is literally like mirroring your energy. So whoever you're attracting to you, this person is closer, I feel, than they appear. Look what flew right back out. Look what flew right back out. 44 environment. So this is someone that feels very much. This could not only be someone, it could be something. And this is something, it's like, like I said, objects are closer than they appear and this is like something coming in very quickly, very swiftly, even unexpectedly. This could be communication. Uh, but this eight is, you know, like 
someone's mustering up the strength, the courage, the wisdom, perhaps to come forward. I feel like even your strength, your perseverance, you being and showing resilience has led to something coming in quickly. Like this is like a, a, a confirmed blessing or a confirmed uh, answer to your prayer with this 19 pride. We're about to pull the energy for how someone feels about you. And it says 19 pride. It's like they, they feel like they need to get, you know, have like some form of an ego death or, you know, like put their pride to the side, you know, just kind of like, you know, get rid of the pride, get rid of the ego uh, and be transparent, be honest, be opened. You know, they want to take action because that one is like, you know, that 10 breaks down to one. So it's like they do want to take action. So divine spirit, peace, power and protection. Who or what is our beloved Scorpios attracting to them? How do they feel about our beloved Scorpios? Wow. All right. There's too many cards and they all felt, you know what Spirit said, expound. So we got number five on the bottom of the deck, change. So I feel like communication could potentially be coming in. But I also feel like not only have you affected some sort of change within yourself, within your mindset, but you, you have someone else who could possibly be mirroring you. They're learning. They're maturing. I just heard the word maturation. So this is like someone growing, someone learning. They could be sitting at the feet of a pastor, preacher, master, teacher, healer, shaman, Sufi, light worker. Maybe they're going to, you know, through their own process of learning, reading, researching, investigating. But this is seeking wise counsel. This is also like someone who's in, you know, studying, going to school, going to class, taking classes, you know, but there's something changing. You know, there's someone who is being inspired by what they're learning. And this is, you know, bringing them more into uh, spiritual alignment, helping them to grow, helping them to see things a little differently. And that's going to change their perspective. So we see relationship change here for how they feel about you. And with this 56, that breaks down to 11. And so 11 is justice. So they do feel like, you know, maybe they feel you're married. Maybe they feel like they want to marry you. Because justice is really about going to the justice. Like that's, that's the mama ma'at. You know, you would go before a judge to, to, you know, have such a um, ceremony. But this, you know, this is also breaks down to two. So I just get like the two of cups, you know, where I feel like someone feels like the yin to their yang, a cosmic companion. Like there's this uh, duality. There's this balance that you may bring or this sense of groundedness that you bring to the, to the equation, like you ground their energy. There's a strong attraction here because this eight and this two that I'm getting from the 56 is 10 and that's one. And one is a very fallacious energy. This is someone really trying to manifest you and manifest some sort of new beginning. Or this is someone that potentially this could be you manifesting some sort of business partnerships, love partnerships, maybe even connecting and attracting your soul tribe, soul family. This is building and cultivating uh, stronger, tighter relationships and bonds with people, building these unions with people, with self-love here for how they feel about you. They know that you love yourself. And in order to love yourself, you had to first heal thyself. So you can't love yourself unless you heal because you won't be able to love yourself if you're wounded. You won't know how, uh, what needs to be healed. Uh, I mean, what love feels like if you're wounded. You know, so it's like it's very important to do that, that internal work or to heal at a soul level, to do that root work before, you know, you, you get into relationships, before you connect with other people. So they see now that this is something you've learned. You've you've like this is personal growth for you. This was that startling metamorphosis, you know, perhaps learning um, that you got to love thyself. But this seven and this two, that's ten. So some sort of ending led to you now having this new perspective, this fresh outlook on life, even having this newfound like um, inspiration, you know, this this fearlessness, this this determination, this drive to go after what you want that follow your dream could just how be how they see you as well. Like just living fearless, living on the edge, being bold. And this is a nine, pardon me. So this is nine, not not ten. So even with that, that's that independent, self-sufficient, you know, this is that energy, the nine of pentacles, independent, single, self-sufficient, you know, your worth, you know, your value, you're grounded, you're stable, you're secure. It's like you got your ducks in a row, very resourceful, very practical, 
and they can see themselves building with you and growing with you because I get like the nine of pentacles here. So they can see you as someone that they can build, you know, they want to build with you, not destroy. And the next card you have is individuality. What did I say about, you know, cutting yourself free from those, you know, very toxic entanglements or those codependent connections? Your independence is the foundation for your stability, your security, your happiness, your peace. We have manifestation. So you are the alchemist. I feel like something karmic ended and now it's like you're manifesting. You've learned that you are, you know, a co-creator with source, that you can utilize the elements around you. As above, so below. As within, so without. You've become that alchemist. And that's because, like, you know, whatever was delayed, blocked, whatever, you know, karmic situations was going on, because you've planted your seeds or you sowed your, you know, in good faith, it's like now you're going to receive some sort of return on your investment. It's like there's a abundance. There's emotional fulfillment, financial fulfillment, satisfaction, joy, and peace that's coming. This is beautiful. I love this. And next we have, these are all expounds, by the way, we have synchronicity. So just as I said, like mirroring someone, because that 44 is a mirrored number and the synchronicity is just showing like, you know, there's going to be things that happen, um, you know, very, you know, it's like repetitious. And so you may see the same number. You may see 888-777-444-555-666-999. You may see 333. Um, you know, you may see certain birds, animal totems. You may see certain, um, hear certain songs. Um, you, you know, it's like you, you get these sensations, perhaps your ear rings, your nose itches, your, 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 your hands itch. You may see a feather or find a feather. It's like there's something happening in a synchronized um, manner. And I feel like spirit is telling you, remember, trust your intuition, use discernment, you know, because you have the ability um, to tap in on a deeper level. So trust what you feel in your spirit, trust what you feel in your gut. With teaching and learning, you could have someone observing you from a distance or uh, unbeknownst to you. There's someone who's learning from you. Um, you could be the student and the teacher at the same time. Uh, you could inspire others. People could see you as, you know, as a leader, as a teacher, as a uh, an inspiration, and they could be learning from you. Like literally, you know, you growing, healing, and transforming could be something that uh, inspires someone to, uh, you know, implement that change. Because I was picking up, like, you have someone mirroring your energy, and so perhaps, you know, healing themselves has now given them the opportunity to know themselves. Because when you heal that self, you love that self. When you love that self, you know that self. Now someone is learning who they are because now they know what their love language is. Now they're opening up their heart. They're being more transparent, more open. And uh, they're also seeing you, you know, in your divine femininity and divine masculinity as royal, as regal. Because that 57 breaks down to... Three, so it's like they're observing you with that hangman reference. Fifty-seven is twelve, so that's a hangman seeing you from a different light. Maybe this is someone that now uh, can appreciate who you are. We have spiritual career here, so many of you are being pruned uh, to, you know, have some sort of spiritual career. You're being aligned with your purpose, as I said in the beginning. It's like you are, um, you know, being prepared. You're being initiated. You know, you're being, you've been chosen and now you may be awakening to that truth. This is another six. So that's why you're having those little, you know, constant synchronized messages. Like I said, you may be having itching of your nose like I am. My nose is itching like crazy as I read. You know, this is a sensation that I get. But this is like some of you all may have that type of sensation or you may have as I said, you may see synchronized numbers, you may hear the same songs, you may have the same sensations, you may see the same animal totems, whatever that may be. It's like those are all signs that you have some sort of spiritual career that you will embark on. You could be on the precipice of starting this new career and we have a happy ending here. So it's like you absolutely are guaranteed that things will look up. Things are turning out in your favor. I feel like rejoice and celebrations I feel like there's like, you know, absolute rewards and recognition, as I said, for persevering through things, for going through some sort of dark period, dark night of the soul journey. It's like you have made the effort to affect this change. It's like you didn't just sit down, mope, cry, self-loathe, whine, pity me. You know, it's like you you did the work. That effort card shows that you made the effort to to change your circumstance, to even heal thyself, to to um you know, to do the work. 
And now we have uh, love, six love. So you're in harmony. Six deals with the lovers. So there's a yin and a yang energy, a masculine and feminine energy on that card overseen by a beautiful angel. So I feel like spirit is aligning you not only with, you know, your own self-love, as I mentioned earlier, because you had to learn to love thyself. That's an inside job. And when you love yourself, you now emote or you, you know, you, you, um, radiate that same love and then you attract what you are or how you feel about yourself it becomes very attractive so you're attracting positive unions partnerships connections you're you're attracting uh people that are coming in that are you know very solid you know um people that are on the same frequency people on the same vibration people that will be you know uh communicative this is a blue card uh, you're even attracting something that you really love to do. So this could be like you aligning with your purpose and you feel this sense of balance. You're going to not only align with your purpose, but you're also going to align with people um, that are on a similar path, you know, that have something to add on to the build. Like they, these are partnerships. These are unions. These are you're building strong alliances. You're connecting with your soul tribe. You're connecting with, you know, like minds, other like minds. A likes, B likes. This is a beautiful energy, you know, of, of harmony. These are spiritual connections, spiritual bonds, spiritual partnerships, spiritual unions, something spiritual about it. And I feel like, you know, spirit is also telling you, like, when it comes to love, trust what you feel intuitively, use your own discernment, you know, when it comes to love. But I also feel like you may even be attracting, like, um, a past life love, like maybe you'll be aligning with something that you did in a former life. And that's why you feel as strongly or as, as passionately, you know, it's like something has been ignited within you as of recent. And it's like, you are just, you, you're, you're, you're chasing that feeling, that emotion, very powerful energy. I love that. It's about to be four, four, four as well. As well. And we have, um, Patrice Russian, and this is called Forget Me Nots. So some of you, you have a past life love that has not forgotten about you. And what's hidden is this person may be, you know, coming in. They could be communicating with you intuitively or telepathically with Forget Me Nots. Perhaps you are thinking of a past love. You can't forget that person. So we're going to put those back in. I feel what's going to change is maybe there's some communication coming with that five. But let's tap in. Let's give the cards a bang, bang, boogie. Remember, all those fell out, so I just wanted to expound. So what's hidden in the energy for my beloved Scorpios? What's hidden in the energy for my beloved Scorpios? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection, Spirit. What's hidden in the energy for my beloved Scorpios? Thank you, Spirit. Bottom of the deck, we have rebirth. So something is changing. There's some sort of shift. Something's pivoting. We have the number three, and it says creativity. So you are absolutely like there is... Like I see like um, some sort of successful outcome. I see you are joyful, happy, radiant. You know, this is like you're a master manifester. You've realized that you have all of the attributes. You carry all of the attributes and characteristics of all the queens. So you are utilizing um, every element to your, to your, to your, um, disposal like so that you can create so that you can manifest so that you can birth new ideas new ways of thinking this is also showing like whatever you're working on it will be successful it's going to bring again those happy endings that we saw with that 93 there's a very happy ending there's a very positive outcome that that is um that is a result of your hard work. And it's coming in quickly. I feel like this is manifesting, uh, manifesting quicker than you can imagine. And this is like almost like a reward for, for what you have, you know, for the hard work, as I said, for your hard work, for your efforts. You could be like, Because I see someone taking action, you know, mustering up perhaps the strength, the courage. We got nine, eight, eight, two, one, one and three. That's four. 
So there could be someone that could be like, you know, your yin to your yang, because four is the vibration of 1111. So this is someone coming in to build. This is someone that's coming in to express love. Remember, you what you're attracting to you is four. And all of these cards that are on the table, the 63, 44, 56, and the three reduces to four. So whoever this person is or whatever you're attracting to you, it is uh, something that has a lot to do. You know, it's something that's going to bring emotional fulfillment. I also feel like there's a divine masculine that has become emotionally intelligent because I see these double fours here. And so, you know, and it's a full, it's a solid green card. So I do feel someone's coming in solid. I feel like they, they, they too, you know, whoever you're attracting, you know, with that teaching and learning we saw, um, someone that has learned, you know, maybe this is someone that will come in and you will, uh, you will have not only a love ship, but a business partnership with this person. We have Roy Ayers, Mystic Voyage. So this is like a mysterious person. I feel like you've been on, you know, this, this, this journey. And it has like really inspired others. And whoever this person is, it's like, this is a secret a person. This is like a hidden person. And we got another double number on the bottom of the deck, 77. And I just mentioned teaching and learning. So this teaching and learning, this is someone learning from you. Because what's hidden in the energy, we have the three. And then the person you're attracting or what you're attracting is four. Is 44. Four is associated with the emperor and the heart chakra. So someone's learning from their divine feminine or learning from their divine masculine. And they're pondering at this time, looking at things from a different perspective. And they now see someone's worth. They're having some sort of, a, you know, grand epiphany about perhaps their feelings, about how to affect some sort of change because we got relationship change. Maybe someone sees you as single, independent, self-sufficient. And this is someone that now wants to perhaps take some sort of action, come towards you. Because this eight and this two reduces to one. And this one and this three is four. And this four and this uh, three is seven. So that seven reduces, uh, that seven is um, the chariot. So someone will take action. And as I said, it's like they're mustering up the strength. They're finding their balance. They're getting into equilibrium so that they can make a wise decision. Even if this is you making a decision to go in a particular direction when it comes to perhaps um, some sort of business endeavor or even a relationship. Uh, it's like you are making a decision from a place of, you know, of, of, of balance. Like you're making sure to ground yourself before, you know, taking action. Because this teaching and learning is like you've learned from, you know, past experiences. Your outcome shows that someone that could be learning from you, because you could be a teacher and a student at the same time. So someone that's learning from you could finally uh, be wanting to take action. This is someone that you could literally be expecting because I get a strong sense of like you being very wise, very in tune, very tapped in because I was picking up someone who uh, could be communicating intuitively and telepathically. We have 77 spirituality. So there is a very spiritual connection, bond, union uh, that you have with someone. There's another double number. So that seven, seven breaks down to 14, which is five. And I feel there will be communication of some sort, whether it's intuitive, telepathic, or whether someone will literally pick up the phone and express that, you know, they love you, you know, um, with the intuition. Remember, I said, trust it. You know, some of you all may need to go outside in nature so that you can like really get the downloads so that you can really receive those transmissions. As I said, you may find certain uh you know, that you're bumping into certain animal totems. You may find feathers. Those are all ways in which, you know, your angels, your guides communicate with you. Look up the spiritual meaning of those things that you may find whilst you're out in nature, taking your walk, having your nature talk. Whoever this person is could be a secret admirer. This is someone you may be familiar with, someone that you may know. Or this may feel like someone you know because this could be past life love. This could be someone that has a lot of similarities, commonalities. This is someone that you may find, um, you know, either you feel like they're very grounded, they have substance, or they may feel that about you. But let's tap in. Let's come further clarify. So let's get some messages from, let me see. My nose is itching like crazy, y'all. All right, let me see. I'm going to go with Gilded. Go with Gilded. All right. So what do we ha have on the bottom of the deck? 
All right. So this card is backwards. Oh, wow. So this card is facing me, but all the cards are faced this way. So this is your message because of the way it was in the deck. This is your message. I feel like this is your message. So this is the ace of pentacles, as you can see. And so that ace of pentacles is showing that there is some sort of reward or some sort of ace, um, um, some sort of um, wish fulfillment, pardon me, because the aces are like a gift from the divine. This is something spirit is saying is like a new financial start or a new opportunity could be presenting itself like, you know, some sort of blessing. And I was seeing that you've been working very diligently, you've been working very hard. Um, and that you are seen as like, you know, pre emperor status because you were seen as someone as the nine of pentacles. What we have on the bottom of the deck is the hierophant. And I mentioned that. So that's speaking to someone who's learned, you know, group, someone who has also grown. So that ace of pentacles along with that um, parenting card is just showing that, you know, you're being rewarded for doing double the work you know i just get a sense of like you you with parenting it's like if you were someone who has like an estranged mother to your children father to your children it's like spirit will reward you um for doing double triple the work you know there is some sort of financial blessing maybe if some of you are waiting for like child support or waiting for some extra change extra funds to come in it comes through for you so that's why you needn't worry uh you know, as I was saying before, because, you know, things may be closer than they appear. I was picking up like wish fulfillment and that wish fulfillment is based upon like your outlook. You know, you're, you're sending up those prayers and petitions with the expectation to obtain and receive whatever you're sending out. And so when you maintain that perspective, that outlook and not fall into a lack mentality or fall into a poverty mindset, then you receive exactly what you know is your birthright. You receive it. So with that parenting, some of you will get, um, you know, some child support that you was expecting. Maybe some of you will just receive some sort of payout, some unexpected funds, money that could come in. It could be a will. It could be insurance payout. It could be someone that just comes and greases your palms. Someone could patronize your business. You know, whatever this case is, it's like it's an unexpected, uh, you know, flow of cash coming your way. And this is almost like spirit, like rewarding you this. That's beautiful. And with this hierophant, someone is maturing, maturing, growing, evolving. This is someone in your environment. This also could just be speaking to you all, mastering your craft, sharpening your sword, honing your skills, you know, developing your skill set, mastering, growing your skill set, learning, studying. Because that's like that eight of pentacles. So whomever you're attracting or whatever you're attracting to you, it's like you're going to attract, you know, the wise dome. The more you apply yourself, you know, the, the positive, the results. So why is this 44 environment here for who our beloved Scorpios are attracting to them? And we have justice here. So you do reap what you sow, what you put out, you get back. So when you sow in good faith, I feel like this is someone that definitely wants to bring some sort of balance to the situation. And there goes the lovers I mentioned. So you have justice and you have the lovers. So whoever you're dealing with, perhaps this is someone that could have been in a relationship with someone else. You know, maybe someone was married because with this environment, someone could have been um, in a marriage in some sort of domestic partnership. This is someone you're familiar with, or maybe this is just like a past life situation. If you look at this masculine, it's almost like he's fading. So it's almost like if this person is married, you know, it's like they're leaving that situation so that so as to. Uh, be where they're meant to be. And I'd see the 10 of pentacles right underneath this. So these are all on the bottom of the deck, but the cards that actually flew out are in my hand. We have the empress. So this eight of pentacles is clarified by the empress. And this is who or what you're attracting to you. So I'm hearing like your hard work pays off. The empress is very successful, very abundant, very powerful. And she knows her worth, knows her value. Even if you're masculine, the same thing is applicable. You know, that empress and emperor are leaders, they're bosses, they go, they are action oriented, very ambitious, very goal oriented. And they also know how to, you know, lead their bosses and they do inspire others. And so I'm, I'm seeing that there is this sense of like someone feels uh, like taking action. They see you as a wish fulfillment. Someone also could be like dealing with some sort of wife or the children to their, uh, you know, the mother to their children or the father to their children. 
and this is what's hidden in the energy. With this justice here, I just get a sense of like, you know, I, I get a sense of like some sort of legal documents, like a marriage um, license. You know, maybe someone is is uh, going through some sort of divorce proceedings or I was picking up like child support. I was picking up, um, you know, maybe it's alimony, but there's someone who is, you know, finally like and I hear sirens going off outside. So that's always like a, a sign, uh, you know, that's like a, a warning shot. And we also have the Queen of Swords here. Hey, baby. Little Catteris is getting it. She wants to be loved right now. I love you, baby girl. So, you know, with this um, Queen of Swords here for how someone feels about you, that's why there's this, this like, this confusion. You know, there could be someone, like, who wants to take action, but your energy, as I said, it's, it comes off very guarded. You know, and if you look, there's doves. Doves always represent like, you know, a rebirth, someone that wants to, you know, perhaps, uh, you know, push rewind. You know, maybe this is someone who is not someone from your past, but maybe from a past life. But there's one, two, three, four, five doves. And so five is, you know, dealing with that same energy as the hierophant that we just saw. So this is someone that has, you know, gone through some sort of change, some sort of transformation. And that's why now they could see themselves perhaps with you, but there is this sense of perhaps apprehension, which is why they are mustering up the strength and courage to approach you. Because that same three is the Empress, which is here. And this is the, you know, the creativity card is what's hidden in the energy. So this is why this person may be looking at things from a different perspective now, um, because they see you as guarded. The Queen of Swords is someone who has... Uh, been through a lot, you know, she's been through a lot of disappointment, a lot of betrayals, a lot of hurt. And, you know, she didn't always pay attention to those red flags, which landed her in, you know, a situation where her heart was broken. So now it's like, she doesn't take too kindly to anyone that may, you know, toy with her emotions uh, or play her for boo-boo the fool, try to insult her intelligence. So she is very mindful um, to, you know, let you know what type of time she's on. So she comes off very like, you know, icy, ice cold. Uh, but she, you know, it's, it's like, you have to show, uh, show and prove, like show there's no reason to, to question, um, your motives. You know, when you show and prove who you are, then she'll let the sword down slowly. She won't be as guarded. She won't be as defensive. So it's like with this relationship change, this is what they truly want, perhaps to change, you know, your status because you are coming off as, like I said, that single, you know, very, very independent, self-sufficient person. And someone wants to communicate. Someone wants to perhaps express their, their interests or express, um, you know, their admiration. They want to bring some sort of justice or peace to the situation, balance things out. Um, but perhaps there's some some hesitation because of how you come off with this, you know, creativity. They, they may come in... Um, in a very unique way, uh, but I do feel like they do get some sort of clarity or they do kind of muster up the strength and the courage and the wise uh to, to come towards you because they want to bring some sort of balance or they feel like you're the yin to their yang. You know, this is someone that does uh, want to express how they feel. So we have right now, um, after the dance, and this is by Marvin Gaye. So after the dance, so after whatever dance they're going through, I'm hearing after the song and dance they may be currently going through. Because as I said, I was picking up like court cases, child support, custody battles, maybe alimony, divorce proceedings. After that song and dance, that's when they will take action. They could be just kind of planning it out, being strategic, you know, because that three is giving me like the three of wands where, you know, they're planning, preparing, strategizing, then they will take action. They also could be a little... Um, apprehensive so they could be mustering up the strength and the courage to come towards you because that three is the three of pentacles is uh the the solar plexus pardon me so let's see what why is this three creativity here for what's hidden so that card is literally just kind of sitting up here we're going to take that and there goes the what is that the seven of swords the five of swords so what i'm seeing here is there's a lot of mental conflict confusion this is also someone that could have like in the past 
uh, because if you look, he has one, two, three, four, five. There's five swords in his arms. And then he has one upright. So it's like, you know, the four swords that you see that he's carrying in his arms. And then there's this one sword, which is upright. So it's like they really want to communicate because they've had some sort of epiphany, especially, you know, with this three. When you see this three. You know, that that sunny yellow card shows like there's clarity, there's some sort of illumination. So it's like they may be willing this time around to, you know, admit or to communicate in a way where it's less hostile. Because it's like they're putting away all of this, this baggage, like all this other negative conversation. And they're ready to have like a real uh, honest, you know, heart to heart or clear the air type of of, of um exchange with you you know because i feel like there was some level of like introspection and they gained the clarity and i feel now it's just about them mustering up the strength and courage to come toward you because this is like you know clarifying this creativity which deals with the heart chakra the heart shock i mean the the solar plexus the solar plexus is that sun that shines within you and so it's like now they can muster up the strength what we have here is the hermit and remember, I was speaking to you like being in that that space where you were kind of like really just um, very protective of yourself, very guarded, but also looking back in awareness, also, you know, not taking action unless it's from, you know, a, a position of of knowing, you know, knowing and knowing that it's going to be the best thing for you. If you look, he's like there's a star inside of that lantern. At least there is in traditional tarot. So it's like that's the that's that hope and that optimism, uh, you know, that someone has maintained regardless of how things look. He knew the answers he sought were within. So that's why he goes in the cage. He withdraws from the outside world and for those connections that could be deemed as one sided and non reciprocal to search within. And these are, you know, that is the teaching and the learning, you know, seeking wise counsel, perhaps from your higher self perhaps consulting with, you know, your spirit team for the answers and gaining that epiphany, that aha, because this light represents, you know, clarity, truth, um, uh, and also, as I said, illumination. But there is someone prepared to communicate. You see how your back is kind of turned to this person. And so that's why they are, you know, kind of like apprehensive about coming towards you. You know, they're kind of considering everything, but they are seeing clearly perhaps you know, uh, that they need to make some sort of change because it says relationship change, how they feel about you is things have changed and they know that they're the reason why they have changed. It wasn't just you changing. Whatever you may have experienced in your past, you know, that's what's changed you and made you come off very protective, very guarded, you know, but they are hoping through their communication that they can, you know, at least get you to let your guard down a little. And so that's why they have their sword straight up because they are prepared to communicate or express something to you or to clear the air with this hermit teaching and learning that shows again like what you've been doing you've been on this voyage we just had um who was that roy Ayers uh singing voyage and it's like you've been on this voyage you've been on this journey and you're a sage you know you you, you have divine knowledge as well you know that hermit is a wizard he knows the answers he seeks are found within so it's like you've sought wise counsel from within, tapped into your Christ consciousness, your 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 God frequency. So why is this 57 teaching and learning here for the outcome? Wow. Okay. Thank you, spirit. So a couple of cards flew down. And so what do we have here? So we got the two of wands, which is on the bottom of the deck. And let me get the cards that actually flew. So oh, sorry, Katara. So we have the emperor. So you got the empress and the emperor. So this is, in fact, like, you know, a, a twin flame union. Remember, we did pick up how they feel about you. We got the double fours. And I said, you know, every time I see the double fours, I always feel like, you know, that is someone that's mirroring your energy. Uh, so, you know, the emperor and the empress, they are a suit. So this is divine masculine, divine feminine. They do feel like you're the yin to their yang. Four is the vibration of 1111. So that is someone that does see stability, security, happy house, happy spouse. The three of cups always also flew out. So this is someone that you may know, like I said, from a past life. 
um, someone that wants to reunite, someone that wants to reconnect. This is someone that definitely is like thinking of um, and planning and strategizing how to come towards you because they do feel that you are, you know, the yin to their yang. They feel like you're their cosmic companion. As I said, there could be a decision, you know, and you can see like this person will, you know, they may be stuck at a fork in the road, but they will take action. You know, I do feel like there's some action that someone is going to take and it is because they feel inspired. This sunlight, the same sun that I see here with this yellow card, it's like it provides the clarity, it provides the truth, it provides some sort of illumination. So that's beautiful. So let's tap in. So let's see what we have on the bottom of the deck, of my deck, and then we're going to wrap it up. So we have date night. It says long walks, live bands, and great laughs. So this is what you're attracting to you. You know, maybe this is the type of vibration you was in when you first met your children's mother or children's father. Like y'all used to, you know, commit to date nights. Y'all used to, you know, during those honeymoon phases and stages, like everything is sweet. All the relationship is just like, you know, the rom-com uh, movies. It's just like everything is perfect. Everything is wonderful. But something sh changed. You know, there was a shift within this. And I feel like you're receiving some sort of new offer. This is like tangible. This is like you're receiving something tangible. Maybe someone who's willing to commit. Someone willing to, you know, offer you something long term. Uh, someone that is looking for that happily ever after. Uh, someone that will potentially, if you're not a mother or a father yet, you, this is someone that will, uh, you know, will eventually become the mother or father to your children or your child. Uh, someone that will put a ring on your finger. Someone that will, as I say, commit to a long term connection. Um, um, I feel like spirit is saying like this is going to be a part of, you know, the routine, just having normal date nights. And when you when you keep it cute like that, like when you keep it fresh, when you're constantly like nurturing the relationship, it's like that's what keeps it strong. You know, that's what keeps it going. Um, you can't just do it to to hook and crook somebody and then you forget about it after three months. You no longer send the flowers. You no longer take them on a trip. You know, you know, it's like you got to keep doing the things that you did to get the person. You got to keep it, keep it fresh, you know? So I feel like spirit is saying that you may be attracting someone that may have the same, uh, you know, perspectives about a relationship, about like, you know, having those date nights and committing to the connection and, 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 you know, putting, putting some time on the calendar, uh, to nurture the connection opposed to just being all work, no play, or, you know, it's just like you, you have to nurture the connection is what this is saying. So let's tap it. So why is the 63 parenting and this ace of pentacles here? Thank you, spirit. Thank you. So we have on the bottom of the deck, it says, oh man, my cards are all upside down. Lord Jesus. So it says sun gaze and um, it says enlightenment ritual. So some of you all to see things clearly, uh, cause you may still be, you know, extra guarded um extra you know super protective super defensive um maybe you're still holding on to a bit of animosity and resentment uh because that nine like i said from the 63 it gives me like the nine of wands as well um so i do feel like you know not only have you learned to be independent you know and self-sufficient uh because i get nine of pentacles but also nine of wands shows where in your relationships prior in your connections prior you were doing a whole lot of giving and giving and giving over sabbath you know overcompensating and self-sabotaging and you may have had to learn um the hard way you know that self-love is the best love or to prioritize you um and that is the reason why there's this reward because you will be rewarded when you do the work when you implement those necessary changes and not only will you be rewarded by spirit you know, uh, with a blessing, a financial gift and a reward. But I also feel like you're attracting now someone who will be more uh, committed, who will uh, be more devoted, uh, who does have, um, you know, something that they want to offer the connection. Uh, so with that sun gaze, I, I feel like a lot of you may be stuck and holed up in the house and spirit is telling you, you need some of that raw, like you need to get outside that raw definitely it activates your pineal gland. So if you are in a space of like depression or confusion or constant, like, you know, uh, anxiety, stress, ruminating, pining, getting outside, sun gazing, uh, during those, um, uh, during those peak moments, like you have to get out there like really early when the sun is just rising, rising to sun gaze. You can't do it once it's like up, 
you know, once it's like at reaches a certain level, it's dangerous. So you have to get out there when it still has like that golden orange kind of tint. Uh, so that will provide that that because um, it's like your, your your pineal gland, the sun activates it. It's like food for your your soul, your spirit. So you need to perform perhaps like this this uh, enlightenment ritual because it will provide uh, downloads. It will provide some sort of clarity. Um, you may also start to notice you get some sort of synchronized messages that come through. So we have do something for yourself. Watch a sunset. Take a drive. Purchase some lingerie. Buy some boxers, pieces of jewelry. Love on you. And this is all about self love is the best love. So perhaps there is this sense of you know someone now learning to love themselves. Someone learning. You know, that love is, you know, an inside job, uh, treating themselves because this empress is like someone transformed and realized like, you know, their worth, realize their value. Uh, the empress doesn't overcompensate because she knows what she, you know, her worth, she knows her value. So it's like now someone is taking the time to love themselves because maybe in a former relationship, there was a lot of, as I said earlier, like, you know, overcompensating. So now it's like, this is like, you know, the me, myself and I. Um, card, you know, that De La Soul energy, me, myself, and I, that's that energy of putting me first, putting you first, you know, not a, putting anyone before yourself, prioritizing you. Uh, next, we have mental health matters, stop overthinking. And so how someone feels about you, is they're stressing up in their head, uh, perhaps about how to have a conversation, um, feeling that you're going to be super defensive, but this is something that they are making up in their own mind. This is like self-inflicted mental anguish. And with this 56, it's about a change. It's about something that they either wish to change or a change that has already taken place within the connection. Uh, perhaps it could be about a decision, a choice, because uh, that 56 reduces to two. So I feel like someone could be at a fork in the road about making a change or, you know, a fork in the road about a choice to make a change, to uh, implement a change. Uh, maybe this is someone that sees you as like someone that they can have that equal exchange of give and take because that 56 is also giving me like the two of cups. But maybe they have this perspective that you are or perception of you that you are very guarded. And so this is causing them an mental anguish. This is causing them to worry. This is causing a lot of concern. Those five birds also represent like this um, five of swords here because I was getting like, you know, because the birds are like angels. You know, it's like messages from the angels. So it's almost like spirit is telling this feminine energy almost to um, to hear what this person has to say, you know, because this person is the five of swords and these five uh, birds are air. So I'm getting like the five of swords energy from the birds. So that is air energy. And so and then there's also a cat. So it's like, you know, cats are impervious to threat. So it's like you already intuitively know whether somebody is going to be honest and, and transparent. So you needn't be super defensive because you're very in tune and very connected to the all now. So it's like I feel spirit is telling you almost like someone is coming in non-threatening. So there's no need to be like super guarded or defensive because this person is already a little like um, intimidated, it appears. You know, maybe they just know that you're not... Um, you're not necessarily like, um, you know, you're, you're not, you're not a, like, a you're not someone that they can like beguile or they can do. So it's like that in and of itself, they know you're wise. And I don't even know if I got a, a card to clarify. I don't know what happened to that card. I never clarified. I thought I did. I thought I did. So let me get a card for this um, 63 and the, um, dang, I thought I got a card. I must not have. So why is the 63 parenting and this ace of pentacles here for my beloved Scorpios? Because I don't see nothing here. I don't see the, I don't see it unless it fell. I don't see anything there. And I thought I did, but I could have missed that. So let me get a card. So why is 63 parenting and the ace of pentacles here? for the overall energy for my beloved Scorpios. Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection spirit. And so what's on the bottom of the deck? All my cards are like so backwards. Oh my God, it's so annoying. So the card that flew out is it says, you are so worth it and they will prove it to you. So like I said, yep, someone sees your worth and value all right. Someone sees your worth and value because you have you know, walked away from those connections, like I said, that had you feeling emotionally bankrupt. 
And, you know, now you know who you are. Now you know what you deserve. You, do, you know your love language and you're going to attract someone that's on the same frequency and vibration. And they also see that you're worth it and they're going to be willing to, you know, support you. They're going to be willing to, you know, be your rock. They're going to be devoted. They're going to be very dedicated to this connection. What's on the bottom of the deck is it says every evil eye that's watching you shall go blind. You have an impenetrable wall of protection. So it's like this person here, they know that you are very in tune, very in touch. And so that could be another reason why they could be a little guarded or a little standoffish because they're not sure. Um, you know, maybe this is somebody that you should be like, you know, kind of looking at sideways. But I feel like you absolutely uh, will be able you know, to read through any bull crap if this person is coming in with any, uh, cause with this yellow, like this, this, this divine feminine, she don't, she don't play either. She's very powerful. She's a master manifester. Someone knows they do see your worth and value. I mean, the empress is, you know, she, she doesn't play. As I said, she knows her work. This is the second time that card has come out in this reading, the empress that is. So it's like someone knows, and you may have a lot of people you like, you know, people hate what they can't, you know, duplicate they also hate what they don't understand so you can have a lot of people that see you in this light see you in some sort of like you know you could be getting stardom you could be getting recognition you could be very successful because that empress and that emperor energy those are very successful very powerful um beings and as i said you you are teaching many whether you realize it or not, there's a lot of people that look up to you or watch you or that you inspire. And some of those people are not necessarily like, you know, rooting for you. Those are the people that try to put roots on you or voodoo, juju, hoodoo on you. People that have some ill intentions, um, people that are hostile, people that are in competition. This could be someone in a secret competition and your angels and guides are letting you know that every evil eye that watches you, it shall go blind. I recently did... Um, you know, like a meditation video for that as well. So, you know, definitely tune into that whilst you're also like speaking, you know, your, your words of protection on yourself. So let's go ahead and see what flew out. So it says selfish, loving me, myself, and I, I literally said that it says, and enjoying getting to know me better. So you could have some folks that are hating on you because now they see that you've reached this level of self mastery and you know, your worth and you know, your value. It's like, you already have these, these guards, you already aware. And someone could be like looking at you, um, with this, you know, disdain or with this, you know, like I said, evil eye, just kind of like wishing and hoping, um, you know, to chop you you know, kind of chop you down. Like this is somebody that really speaks negatively. Um, they could be like gossiping. This is definitely someone who has a whole lot that they may want to get off their chest. And this is a hostile energy. That could be why your angels, that that now it makes sense. Your angels are letting you know, um, you know, to to be, be uh, very mindful of your interactions with these individuals because energy is transferable so this could be someone that is really uh mentally ill you know that they, they, they can be a little um uh, little cray cray and 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 they could be trying to direct their their energy towards you spirit is telling you focus on you you know it says you know selfish loving me myself and i someone may feel rejected by you or someone may feel um that they're on the outs with you and it's because you're loving yourself. You know, these could be people who benefited from you being very, you know, overcompensating and giving more than you were receiving. And now you're focusing on loving yourself because you realize that self-love makes you more attractive. You realize you, you are worthy. You know, you realize your worth. You realize your value as that empress. They know their worth and value. And so with this energy here, Baba Ogun, this is about victory. So you are in the spotlight. You're having some sort of victory, some sort of success. Um, and this could cause a lot of frustration, anger, hostility, jealousy, envy. Uh, and it's because you are doing you, beloved. So keep on doing you because uh, you are going to have some sort of success. This is beautiful. So why is 57 teaching and learning the emperor and the three of cups here for who uh, for what the outcome is for my beloved Scorpios? Thank you, spirit. And so we have on the bottom of the deck, it says they're addicted to you. This might be cause for alarm. Deal accordingly. So whoever this is, you know, with addiction, that's like a devil energy. So that's someone that has codependencies um, and with teaching and learning, they could be watching you, stalking you. I'm getting like obsessively, 
you know, possessively. Uh, what we have here is it says, do, don't eat everyone's food. Don't let everyone in your home. And then we also have treat yourself. You deserve it. Self-love is the best love. So if spirit wants you to focus less on um, anyone external to you, like, you know, make sure you create boundaries. Don't be eating everyone's food. Don't be drinking everyone's drink because there could potentially be someone trying to do some sort of uh, spell work because I was getting that, especially with, you know, every evil eye watching. But it also is spirit telling you um, self-love. That's that's the best love right now because um, you're attracting spiritual connections, spiritual bonds. And as, as I said, if you're feeling uh, in your gut that someone's coming in with this type of energy, if you feel in your gut that someone has this venom, or they are seething, or they have this type of disdain, jealousy. It's like, do not engage uh, because you're dealing with someone that is not all there. This is someone that is completely delusional, um, you know, and someone who's like up in their head when it comes to you, up in their head when it comes to perhaps some sort of change in your relationship status. Uh, this could be a children's mother or children's father. Um, but I feel like spirit is also saying this is someone you've cut off, you know, because that queen of swords, she doesn't play. She will cut your ass off with the quick fastness. It's protect your neck around her. And it's showing that someone is very addicted, like they're addicted. They are obsessed. They are, you know, possessive even. Um, but I feel like, you know, spirit is reminding you that you are the alchemist. So you could change your circumstance by changing your mind, changing, you know, the way that you may speak about the situation. I want to get some more messages. And you know what I noticed? There's two cards here that I missed. There's two cards still sitting here. This is a completely different deck. But these cards were supposed to be with this deck. So now I want to see. I'm curious. So it says you radiate love and light shine bright. And then it also says financial freedom, success. So these two cards were sitting here. And I feel like those are your messages in addition, because it says this is the outcome. So as this emperor, it's like whatever you're working on, not only is that, you know, assuring some sort of success in this business, you know, module that you are creating, you can see like he has blueprints, he has all these documents. It's like you're manifesting something, you're changing something, you're working on something. And it's like you're you're in a studious energy here, but your hard work pays off. It's assured that you will have some sort of stability and security. And it's like you will, you know, absolutely inspire others, motivate others. You are like a teacher because it says you radiate love and light. So you are very maternal or very paternal, very nurturing. And I feel like that's another reason why um, there could be some level of jealousy. Uh, someone may try to come in and, and um, you know, offer you food or drink. Uh, someone that you are familiar with, obviously. Uh, and I feel like spirit is just saying, like, don't eat from anyone because that is something that someone may be doing to try to um, to manipulate a situation, uh, to 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 uh, to sabotage. I'm hearing. Because there are three cups, if you, you know, the three, the three of cups, you know, always threes. Anytime I see threes, you know, I always feel entanglements. I always feel, you know, someone that could be manipulating another person's energy. And, you know, with coupled with don't eat everyone's food, you know, I just get a sense of like, you know, maybe someone is dealing with that level of uh, manipulation because that three is like, trust your gut, trust what you feel. Because there is someone that is, you know, making some sort of decision here that has to make a decision. So it's like, choose wisely. Definitely choose wisely, like your, whatever action you take. Let me get an addition, some additional messages. Let me see what else we got coming in, going out, going on. We're going to pull some messages from the Kipper. So you have uh, communication. Someone's going to send you a message. And there could be a whole lot of dream activity going on. There could be a whole lot of like, you know, intuitive or telepathic messages. Find spirit of peace, power, and protection. What messages do you have for my beloved Scorpios? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection spirit. And cut this deck. And we have, um, so you like what you see. 
And this is by, um, who was that? Samuel. So I was getting someone like kind of like watching from a distance, like, you know, almost like an eye spy, especially with that they're addicted to you. I just get a sense of like somebody watching. And so we have pathway. So someone sees that you're on some sort of new journey. And it says you are so worth it. So you're on a new journey. I feel like you are the one on a new journey because whatever that wish fulfillment is, it's like this is like some swift change. You know, this is something transforming your life for the better. If you look, there's a bunch of butterflies on this beautiful path. So it's like you, you've you gone through something very turbulent or very, you know, difficult um, to get to this place where there's this new junction, you know, that 35 is eight. So you went through a karmic experience or a karmic lesson, but that karmic lesson has led to you now, you know, taking this new path or taking action in a whole new direction. What we have on the bottom of the deck is sudden wealth. So you absolutely are going to strike it rich or get some sort of blessing or financial reward from whatever you're working so tediously, so diligently, you know, so hard on. It's like there's absolutely like success, stability, you know, that 11, this is like, you know, justified. It's like everything's turning out in your favor. And it's like Mama Ma'at has everyone's address. So she saw like you actually like working hard, like you turned thoughts into reality. You master manifested your reality. And it's like you may have taken care of everyone around you. And now spirit is telling you it's time for you to to uh, take care of you. It's time for you to do something special for yourself. But this sudden wealth is like something is coming in unexpectedly. It's like a, a some sort of blessing here. It's like a, it's like literally like some sort of wish fulfillment with that eight. Remember I said that's like an infinite supply. It's like hope, optimism. When you remain hopeful and optimistic, it's like your prayers are answered. Miracles take place. So why is forty four environment the empress and do something for yourself? I can't make this up. You got the uh, twenty five high honors. So this is, you know, similar to like that chariot, like something's coming in very quickly, very swiftly. This is a change. This is something that's bringing balance, bringing stability, bringing harmony into your life. This could even be love because that eight and the seven reduces to 15, that's six. So this could be like, you know, definitely some sort of victory, some sort of, you know, breakthrough. We did see that Baba Ogun. So this could be in regards to, as I said, like a business, um, you know, some sort of business idea or something you're working on uh, very tediously, very diligently. It's like there will be victories, there will be success, and you will be rewarded, you know? And I feel like you mustered through a lot of like difficult moments in time, but you will, you will get recognized or you will be rewarded. That's why that unexpected income is there. We have 30, um, 33, it says concern for how someone feels about you. And doesn't that make sense with this mental health? So someone, some masculine energy is really concerned about having a conversation or expressing something, or maybe they have some concerns about, you know, something that may have changed or something they wish to change in a relationship and they stress over it, ruminate over it, pine over it. And it's because this is how they perceive you as someone very guarded. Even if you're masculine, they see you as someone very argumentative or maybe someone very defensive or st you stand on guard all the time. And so they're, they're overwhelmed, you know, but spirit is telling someone, trust your intuition. You know, maybe spirit is communicating with this person that they need to go get some help, get some, you know, some help because like this overthinking is like that, that could lead to stress, stress kills. So you got to, Stress, you know, you got to kill, destroy stress. You can't let stress kill you. So it's like, get out of your head. You know, it's really about getting out of your head and getting into your heart. It's also about getting around, um, you know, being in a setting that can, you know, kind of like spark some sort of um, change, you know, in, in your thought process. Maybe getting around people that are um, of like mind or getting in a nature 
uh, in a setting of, of nature, being around the trees or the water provides the clarity, can help you to see things clearly. But someone is it's up in their head, and that's why this mental health is here. Because they have all these concerns, and these are things that they are creating in their own mind. This is self-imposed. And we have um, Alexander O'Neill, Saturday night. So for some of you all, something may happen Saturday night that could cause alarm. Maybe someone will communicate, will say something, will take some sort of action. Maybe someone will say something that will potentially have you, um, you know, stuck in two minds. You know, so that's why spirit was kind of telling you, uh, you know, to be mindful. Don't don't like don't match anyone's energy. Just stay, you know, stay grounded. Why is this 56 relationship change? Queen of Swords and mental health matters here for how this person that Scorpio is attracting to them feels about them. So someone's up in their head because they may see you as the main female or the main male. Or maybe they are up in their head because they have to make a change or make a decision. Pardon me you know, to decide, you know, who their main female is, especially with this, you know, you could be the main female in this scenario. You know, as I said, you know, I was picking up like, you know, maybe you had a children's father or a children's mother. So even if this is a main female, whatever it is, that's the decision that's causing someone a lot of mental anxiety and stress is a choice. Choosing between what may be two people, you know, choosing between you know, maybe they see you as someone different and that's what they are struggling with is is, is now treating you, you know, um, differently. You know, seeing you as someone who's, you know, now more assertive and confident and, you know, maybe in the past they may have saw you a little more passive. Maybe they was more, uh, you were more susceptible to getting, uh, you know, confused and conflicted or allowing them to mind up you and now it's like you're in this energy where you've taken your power back. You see things very clearly and you've already cut, made some sort of cuts. What's hidden in the energy is we have a message. And remember, I told you someone is ready to communicate. Someone's ready to get something off their chest, especially with that sword up. It's like they want to clear the air. So there could be a message. You know, this could be a message, whether in the form of an email, a text, uh, actual phone call. But there is a message. And I feel like spirit is reminding you, like, you know, this is your vibes right now. Like you're, you know, on some me, myself and I type stuff. And that's because, you know, as a divine feminine, divine masculine, you know, you're worth, you know, your value. So you're not settling. You're not going to settle for, you know, any Tom, Dick or Harry or any, you know, Jane, Jill and John, Gina. <laughs> you're not going to fall for that. You know, you're also trusting your intuition again, you know, to, you know, even accept someone's offer to have a conversation. It's like spirit is telling you, like, trust your intuition because that's your your uh, crown chakra. So someone is taking action. Someone is, there's something coming in quickly. Why is this three creativity, five of swords and the selfish loving me, myself and I here for what's hidden? See that someone's in despair and I heard desperate as well. So you got a couple of cards that flew out. So what we have here is mature man. Didn't I say someone was maturing, maturation? So someone has grown up. It's like they, they definitely grew. Someone has grown, someone has matured, or this could just be speaking to you getting rid of someone who is very argumentative and defensive and now attracting someone that's on your frequency and vibration. Because it's like you absolutely know your worth and value as a divine feminine, and this is the type of energy you attract. Someone that is very regal, very royal, very well-learned, very you know well-traveled, someone skilled. This is someone that has also learned lessons. Look what you also have. A unexpected income is flying out to clarify the teaching and learning, the emperor, don't eat everyone's food, financial treatment, treat yourself, you deserve it, you radiate love and light. So you absolutely are receiving something unexpected for your efforts, for your work. Nine is the highest number of change. As we saw here, whatever you've grown through, the reason why you were so defensive was that because of the lessons you've had to learn. That warrior spirit reigned through. That's why you're being rewarded because you've learned that your independence is the stability, is the foundation 
for your stability, your security, your overall happiness. That's why this Ace of Pentacles is here, because this is, again, confirmation that you have rewards, recognitions, blessings, and you're also attracting other people that are on your frequency that are going to see your worth and see your value and be willing to put a ring on it, willing to commit, willing to devote themselves. And this is taking you on a whole new voyage, a whole new pathway, a whole new junction in your life. This is a wish fulfillment again, 35 pathway, you know, that's really showing that, you know, this is like movement forward and unexpected as well, like some sort of swift change that's taking place, taking place. And with this 32, it's like whoever this is that's in despair, you know, that's that same person, you know, that could have potentially been sitting here trying to cause, you know, confusion and they're going to watch, you know, you get swept away by someone who's more mature, more on your frequency and vibration. So as they continue to, you know, show up in the world being very hostile, argumentative, negative, competitive, this only leads to more despair because all of that is is deflection, you know, all of that is is projection. All that is is ego, you know, pride, you know, and this leads to disappointment because you can't you you can't attract an empress or an emperor um, in that light, because they know their worth and value. They, you know, someone regal and royal is not going to take waste time arguing with a fool. You know, you argue with a fool, people on the outside won't know who's who. And so that's what this person realizes. They're going to be in despair because you're coming into a union that leads to marriage. Just as I said, I can't make this ish up. Someone is going to be butt hurt. And whoever this is that caused all that conflict and confusion and stress and argument, arguing over nothing. That's the same person that's going to be in despair because you're getting married, because you're moving on. This was someone you were very loyal to. This is someone that you really, you know, tried to help. It looks like you really tried to help this person. You tried to be a beacon of light. But someone is just like the card said here. It's like you, you are so worth it and they will prove it to you. So you're attracting someone that will court you, that will love you, that will treat you right. You know, and it's because they, too, have gone through their lessons and have learned, you know, how to love effectively the same as you, how to be loved effectively. And it's always starts with you. You know, that's why you have selfish loving me, myself and I here. And you also had, you know, treat yourself. This is learning. This is like self-worth, self-value. This is self-discipline. You do that when you realize your worth and value. And that's why you're attracting someone that wants to marry you. That's why you have sudden wealth here. That's why you have someone up in their head that's ready to take action. So this is your reading, beloveds. I thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. If you are new here, I hope the message has resonated. If you are returning, I will that you all be so kind. Hit the like, hit the share, hit the subscribe button. Definitely check out my meditation videos, uh, like them, get them in the algorithms. I'm doing some things differently. I will be implementing live videos because that was one of the poll questions that I posed. And I believe the last time I checked it, which was yesterday, um, the lives was one of the things you all wanted to see. So I will be um, posing another question, like what day would you want to have a live on? What works for y'all? What time works for y'all? Um, I know I can't appease everyone, but at least, you know, try to get a consensus a little bit. Um, also, if you are new here, check out um, my Etsy shop. I have a little bit of everything. You could click the link in the description below. I also offer, uh, you know, consultations. I do personal readings so you could get a, an emergency reading. If you need something quickly, uh, within 24 hours, I do have an emergency reading option. Uh, and I also have a one hour reading or a deep dive, which is a two hour reading. Um, and so you can go and check out my consultation page, uh, you will get a link which will take you to the reading when it's complete. Uh, and I haven't had any complaints. It's been really beautiful tapping into, you know, those of you who have book consultations. I truly appreciate you all. Uh, but ch check me out. Check out Assist. I hope my energy, the way I read, my vibe all correlates with yours. Until next time, I send a big fat ashe. Peace, love, and light.